Hi, my name is Maggie. No, not that Maggie. I look more like a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, I'm going to draw my life for you. I'll show you the story of how I went from Maggie Bill to Maggie Law. Now, I'm sure you all know my cousin. Yeah, him, Mr. I'm just a Bill, yes, I'm only a Bill. Well, this time it isn't about him. It's about me. I started my life just like any other Bill, sitting on the desk of a member of Congress, waiting for them to look over me and maybe even introduce me to the Senate or the House of Representatives. Lucky for me, a senator from Virginia decided I was good enough for the Senate, so he became my sponsor. I was off to the Senate to be assigned to a committee and then a subcommittee. I sat there for hours after hours listening to hearings and getting marked up. Soon enough, they figured out a final version of me that could be sent to the floor. There I listened to debates and they came to a vote. I was so excited! I found out that the Senate got a majority vote to pass me. I was so happy. I felt like I could see the light at the end of the tunnel. But sadly, my hopes were crushed when I found out that my next stop wasn't the White House but instead the House of Representatives, where I'd have to do the whole thing all over again. So I was introduced, then assigned to a committee, then assigned to a subcommittee, where I listened to more hearings and more debates. I got ready to be introduced to the full House, but then I found out there was another step unique to the House, the Rules Committee. They reviewed me as I watched all the budget, revenue, and appropriation bills walk by me, because apparently they don't have to be reviewed by the Rules Committee. Once I was debated on and approved by the full house, and no, I don't mean the hits that come from the 90s, I was sent to the Conference Committee. I was only sent there to iron out the differences between the bills from the House and the bill from the Senate. Personally, I heard that n barely any bills get through without visiting these committees, this committee. Then I was sent back to the House and the Senate. Once I got my big green check of approval from both of them, I was off to see the head honcho himself, the president. To say the least, I was nervous. Would he sign me? Would he veto me? Would he hold on to me for 10 days until Congress was out of session, aka pocket veto me? Before I knew it, the day came for me to be reviewed by the president. But don't worry, obviously I took a selfie the second I met him. But you know what happened next? After he read me, he vetoed me! I couldn't believe it! I was crushed. I would never become a law now. Then I remembered. I would still go back to Congress, and if I got two-thirds of their vote, my veto would be overwritten. So I waited patiently outside of Congress, and guess what? I had become a law. I threw a party to celebrate. You know what happened? I even invited my cousin, but he didn't come. Rumor has it he's still sitting there on Capitol Hill. Thanks for listening and watching me draw my life.